so yes my book has finally come in i have been waiting on my book to come in i went through a, a just a little little something just to get it i'm like why am i going through all this to get my book but i finally got it i'm so glad my book came in y'all this is the book okay i love it i love how it's made i love how, i just love the size of it i love everything about it but yes um based on a true story if you haven't gotten it um get it y'all it is really good i was reading it when it came in and i was like dang this is my story but i didn't even want to put it down and i did find a, a few errors up in there i said it's a comma supposed to be right here but y'all please get the book it is good it is good okay and in this book i talk about the time oh i talk about the time i had a gun pulled to my head i talk about and i didn't know them people i didn't know them people at all it wasn't the whole thing but how that even happened was crazy i talk about the time i was maced yes i've been maced before Ugh. i talk about uh the tattoo how this even came about how i even got this tattoo um for the people that have actually read the book so far feel free to leave an honest review if you didn't like the book say you didn't like it you know and if you liked it, say you liked it. I love the truth. You know, that's who I am. I, I love the truth. So as long as it's an honest review, I'm like, okay, well, it's your honest review. But I love it. You know, I've healed a whole bunch. So it, it seemed like this stuff didn't happen, but it happened. Like, I know it happened. <laughs> but you, you come so far, you come such a long way to where a lot of the stuff that you was feeling while this was going on or you know a while back those feelings just diminish god just heals a lot of that stuff and you all you have is like certain memories of what had happened and things that have happened but you know that's it and the way i was able to write some of this stuff in here is because god preserved this binder that i have and i <laughs> this binder i started this binder like way in about 2007 and I used to, I, I make calendars. I used to put, I made calendars and I put it into this binder and I used to write certain things that would happen during that day in this calendar. And I still do that to this day once I got became healed. So when I was going through the, the voodoo and the witchcraft, I was still writing certain stuff down in the binder. It was so much going on. I know it's so much missing out of there though, because I, a lot of days I just could not, or I couldn't. It was just too painful to even write the stuff down. So um god reminded me of some of it and and when i thought about a lot of it i realized just how healed i actually am from a lot of this stuff but yes this is this is good like it is really good but yeah um but speaking on the language speaking on the language that the person could pick up due to being bound by demonic spirits and due to having maybe witchcraft on them or some type of spell or something one of the things I was shocked about is that when I first seen the, the demon, when I first seen a demonic spirit and I seen the body and the face and all that, I, was, I said, wow, you know, and my first thought was to kill it. I told y'all this a while back. My first thought was to kill it. And then when I actually heard it speak, I was shocked. I said, I said, it can talk. And then I was shocked because I realized it speaks English. I was like, Oh my god i was so shocked first i was shocked that those things actually existed right then i was shocked that they could talk then i was shocked to hear that they spoke english so then i was wondering okay if they speak english i wonder how they speak in other ethnicities do they speak other languages too and i'm pretty sure they do i'm pretty sure they do probably depending on the person you know but one thing about those demonic spirits is that they have filthy language their language is so perverted and nasty and filthy like i could hear them cussing me out calling me all kind of bees i could hear them talk you know calling other people b words and stuff and i could hear them just using some of the most profane language so this is one of the reasons why i know certain people have demonic spirits is if their their um language if the way they speak is a cuss word every other word if they speak just like these demonic spirits speak like they have a certain perverted language that they speak and if somebody talk just like them or they saying they speaking kind of like them i know that they have some type of spirit um and a lot of times people have to get stuff casted out of their tongue too y'all because a lot of times this stuff will bury in a person's tongue and um some people do it 
um, involuntarily. They involuntarily say a lot of cuss words or say certain words they don't even try to say. They just end up saying it. You know, I remember going through that and I was just saying stuff. I couldn't control my tongue. Something else was controlling my tongue. And my my language became... I had never cussed that much before in my life. And especially using those forms of cuss words. You know, back then I probably would say the D-A-M-N word or something. Or the... Or just H-E-L-L or something. I didn't never go as really go as far as to say too much or anything else if I did cuss you know it was but when I was under that that stuff had me saying all kind of stuff stuff that I wasn't even trying to say and that's another reason why I knew something was terribly wrong too like I like I said there is so many other um things to where you would know that something is wrong especially if you don't talk like that you know I was I didn't talk like that and so I was like why am I cussing like this and I was cussing. It was bad. It was really bad. I was cussing people out. Like, I, it had me cussing people out. It had me just cussing just to be cussing. Um, I'm not even a liar. But the, but the stuff had me lying for no reason. You know, I was like, why did I just lie? There wasn't even nothing to lie about. People that lie a lot, lie a lot, and just lie just to be lying, they have some demonic spirits. You know, they have some kind of demonic possession going on. To where they just lying just to be lying. Because that's not even normal to be doing. Um, I always been an honest child. I was an honest child. And so that grew up in me to just be honest. I always been pretty honest. I wasn't never quick to tell a lie. But once that stuff was on me, it's like I, I would lie on accident. I wouldn't even be trying to lie. The demonic spirits would have me lying for no reason at all. And um, not only that, the lying, the cussing, and just saying stuff that didn't even make sense. A lot of times, it'll pervert the person's mind and have them just repeating themselves over and over and over again, saying the same stuff. And some, I remember sometimes I had to kind of try to cover my own mouth because it would control my mouth where um, I would just be saying stuff, you know. And that's an another way you would know is if you can't control your own mouth. You can't control your own mouth. You can't control your tongue. It's like something else is speaking out of you and speaking through you. And if you know you don't cuss, you don't normally use certain profane language, it could be due to, to due to demonic possession or some type of spell or something. Or it could be because you was hanging around certain people and it rubbed off on you. It could be due to that because I know if I was around certain people, then, uh, then certain stuff would kind of rub off. If I was around them a lot and I probably would accidentally say a certain word or say something just like they said because I'm around them all the time, right? So you have to be careful about who you hang around, who you who you be with, so that you don't let allow certain things to rub off on you. You know, if you can help it, all right. But yes, y'all, my book finally came in. Yay! I love it. I love how the the little glossiness of it and everything. Um, God picked out a good little cover for me. But yeah, I'm probably going to read it again. I don't know what I'm going to do after this, but we will see. I don't even know if I'm going to finish the second part this year because it's so much I see that it's getting cut. It's cutting close to some other things I'm going to have to do. So um, I will see. But yes, keep those things in mind. Your language is not supposed to be perverted like that. And you're, you're not supposed to be cussing a whole bunch, y'all. But yeah. All right. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.